Hi, I'm Tim from Reclaim Health, and today I'm just going to walk you through a couple of things we look for in a gate scan. So I've got one from earlier saved here, I'm just going to bring it up. So we're looking at this player here, we've got the dots on the anatomical landmarks running in slow-mo so we can see everything's happening. The first thing we want to see is whether these dots stay level when he walks. And we can see here, they don't. Particularly here, you can already see, getting a lot of drop there. As soon as his left leg's bearing the weight through here, we can see this dot dropping takes a step forward, bang, as soon as his right leg's bearing the weight, left leg's down, and again there, so forth and so on. So we're thinking there is weakness of the glute max, they're these, sorry, glute med, these are the muscles here on the sides of the hips, and they stabilize us from side to side. We can really see that quite clearly with this player. And the other thing worth noting on this particular video is we can see quite a lot of head bobbing. He's kind of tilting when he walks. There are other things we can see if we had the athlete barefoot. We might do them in the gate scan in the clinic, but in the soccer field, we're mainly looking at what's happening with the hips and the big prime mover muscles. Let's have a look from side on. Same athlete. From side on, we're looking for a couple of things. So I'll just play the video through. Generally, first thing is hip extension which is pretty poor. We can see that particularly on the left, it's not coming all the way through. If we look back, we wanna see much more hip extension than that. And that usually means that glute max is underactive or weak on that player. So both his glute med, which is his stabilizer in his hips, and glute max, which is prime mover, weak in that. The other thing we wanna see is when he's bearing his weight, we wanna see that quad activate. So already, as we go through here and he's landing on that right leg, you can kind of see there that the knee stays very straight. We actually want a little bit of bend in the knee at this point in the gait. This helps prevent impact going through the knee repetitively. So let's pause that weight and go back a little. Oh, too far. Yeah. So here we should have about 20 degrees bend in the knee. That's very little there, maybe five degrees. And that means every time he steps, he's gonna be putting a lot of impact through his knees. And we can see that on both sides there. Even on that left side, dead straight the whole way through. The other thing that's interesting with this athlete is you'll see as he walks, his calves don't propel him forwards. Instead, they peel off the ground. It's almost like his weight rolling, particularly that one. See how that one stays stuck until he's almost heel striking with the other side, and then it starts to peel off the ground as this one's landing. That means his calves are really underactive and weak too. So it's really going to limit his ability to be explosive, but it also means he's going to get a lot of calf strains or plantar fasciitis, just overuse of his like lower limb in general. It's going to be very rough on him. Yeah, that's pretty much what we take on the on the gate scan. We can see when they're wearing shoes. So we're looking for in this athlete here had pretty much all the boxes ticked of stuff that was wrong. He had glute med weakness. He had glute max issues or possibly some hip extension issues, maybe just tighten the anterior capsule in the front of his hip. But for the sake of this, we train his glutes and his quads are underactive there. So he's loading his knees too heavily and his calves are weak too. So he's not actually propelling himself forward and so they're peeling off the ground. Yeah, I hope this has given you a good idea of the, some of the things we're gonna look for in the gate scan when we do them in the clinic. Hope to see you soon.